All right, guys, so with your fertilizer, um, you know, up to you what brand you go, there's heaps of products on the market. I've just gone with Lawn Pride today, or there's anything from Plant Doctor or all that sort of jazz. So yeah, um, but yeah, plenty of fertilizers on the market. So jump online, you'll be able to grab something perfect for your renovation and your lawn variety. Using the Solo Spreader today. Um, I've done a review on this on the channel, so I'll leave a link in the description up there if you want to go check it out. Um, but yeah, great spreader. Um, go check it out, see what you think. All right, guys, so speaking of fertilizers as well, um, and you can put down your slow release fert and you can once you've top dressed you can put down a bit of a root builder as well like a liquid feed root builder something from sea soul something from plant doctor something from lawn pride there's plenty again of options on the market there for you to choose from so um yeah so anything to sort of build the roots up we are in spring here currently in brisbane queensland australia so um yeah obviously that you've just punish the lawn so getting some sort of root builder and growth stimulator in there would be perfect for it just to make sure those roots are holding strong and um and that so yeah just keep in mind too for you guys who are learning to do with fertilizers as well it's really good to apply a fertilizer a month or two out from your lawn renovation as well just to sort of kick the grass up a notch and get it ready to be scalped and take a bit of a beating um so yeah just make sure you uh, do that i mean it isn't a do or die, it is just recommended that you do though, um, especially if your grass is not in good health to begin with. Um, definitely try and give it a, a good feed of food before you go ahead and just, you know, scalp the crap out of it. So yeah, anyway, there's another tip for you. Let's keep going with the foot. Oh fertilizer throwdown is done so yeah i use lawn pride today that was lawn pride maintain um brisbane based company here so again i like to support brisbane queensland australian based companies especially as local as possible um and then it's good get behind our locals and help them help them support and grow just like my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed already make sure you help my uh, youtube channel grow by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell as well to keep you up to date with upcoming videos so yeah anyway first throw down throw down is done and now we can move on to the top dress all right let's get into it guys I'll just give you a bit of a rundown on also the basic tools you need to perform a lawn renovation so really um, all you need is a shovel as you can see a wheelbarrow um, for the obvious and now this is a landscape rake they are super handy um, but it isn't necessary you don't need it if you don't have one don't rush out to the shops to get one you can always use the back of your um, just normal garden rake um, just do fine now the other thing you'll need is your leveler which is here and then of course a mower and the core aeration machine you've seen already now these are like just the basic tools you need for a lawn renovation um, that's pretty much it now uh, if you have any questions or comments just put them in the um, 
If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you regarding any of the tools you see that I've used in this video. Um, all right guys, so I'll just show you now the first technique of doing a um, top dress throw with your shovel. You need just a square mouth shovel or any sort of shovel. Ideally the square mouths are good because they hold a good area on the shovel in one go and a short handled shovel. You can use a long handled shovel if that's all you got as well. It doesn't really matter, it's just mildly easier with a short handle. So yeah, let's get into it and I'll show you how to do a uh, action slow-mo top dress throw. Right, did you catch that? You want to see that again? Alright, it's that simple. So, whatever your dominant hand is on the bottom, um, I'm right handed, so my right hand on the bottom, and then all you're basically doing is curling your wrist over and throwing the soil towards the area that you're wanting to spread. Now, make sure you follow through with the throw. Don't just go halfway and stop, or you end up with a pile of the soil just flying off your thing and landing in a big pile. You need to bring the arms through, just like you're doing a forehand in tennis, um, bring the arms through, roll the wrist over, and that'll create a nice even throw over your lawn, as you can see. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, just for educational purposes now, um, I'll just do this little section with the throw and now your leveler. So once you've sort of thrown it out, then you can start your leveling. Do a little bit and then um, stand back and you'll be able to see where you've missed some, where it needs a bit more, where you may have put too much and you go from there. But just make sure you don't just go quickly over with the level. You need to go um, uh, fairly consistently over it to give it the soil enough time to sink down into those new core aerated holes um, and fix your level spots up. All right, let's get into that. guys so that's it super simple um, that's the finished product as you can see there and it's settled in nicely now as like a core aerator and I mentioned when I was talking about the core aeration about going uh, sorry when I was doing the scalping doing separate ways you do the same with your leveler so don't just go one way you need to go a few ways again just to make sure you get all the top dress into those little nooks and crannies um, and holes and low spots um, So yeah, it's nice and level once you're finished. So as you can see We're looking good here now. We are out the front and as all Australian residents know It is a common problem You'll end up with this track all the way through here from our postal department Which you know, we can't do anything about because we don't own this land out on the council nature strip that's why it's called the council nature strip so unfortunately um you know you can't tell a postie to not well you can well you can't tell them you can ask them nicely hey do you mind not riding on my grass while i'm doing my renovation and depending on them it's up to them whether or not they're obliged or not but unfortunately legally here in australia you cannot you know tell them to stay off your land on this part of the street because um, we don't own it. So Yeah, but anyway That is a common problem you'll find in Australian from front lawn properties is the old posty track um, Anyway, all right, let's keep going with the top dress Alright guys, 
I'll just show you the other way I mentioned about dropping piles out and then spreading them out from a pile. Um, and maybe once I do it, you'll see what I mean by if you're inexperienced with lawn renovations and top dressing, just do it the way I showed you with throwing it out and then spreading it out like down there. But um, for other viewers, or if you just want to try it this way, I'll show you the sort of dumping in piles method, spreading out from there. So that is the pile method. Not my particular favorite choice. I prefer throw out period, throw out method, just so you're not putting too thick a top dress on, as I mentioned. But again, each their own, it's personal choice. If you like doing the pile method, um, then go for it. Um, I do know guys like Connor and that do the pile method. And I can understand why probably. And um, because if you've got such a massive block and you're using you know, a big wide pull behind spreader, then that's probably okay because you're gonna be going over and over and plus you've got a massive space to do. So if you're doing the throw method, you'd be there for ages doing the throw method. But yeah, so I can understand why those guys with huge uh, huge acreage blocks or whatnot do it that method. Um, but anyway, yeah, just thought I'd show you the two methods of throwing your top dress down. Um, but yeah, have a go at both, see which one you prefer the most and what works for you. And uh, yeah, enjoy it while you do it. Another method guys is the shake shake method which is literally like this. Or another method is like this. Use your hand and just flick it off. Like that. They are some other methods of applying your top dress. Not the best way. I still think the throw way is the best, but again, there's more um, ways to try and see which one suits you best.
right guys, so we have finished the top dressing. That is all done. And now we're up to the final stage, which is the watering in process. So this is, um, like all the process, an important part of it as well. Um, the pre and post watering, really important. So uh, I'm not managing the watering here. The client's gonna um, put the irrigation out and start to water that in. So I am done here for today and, and for this job. So uh, it's Friday afternoon and I'm cactus and it's, uh, what's the time? Three o'clock, I'm calling it. So um, yeah, nice little finish early finish for a Friday afternoon. But uh, anyway, yeah, so final stage is watering. Um, and, and generally you need to, I've been putting in these sections about half an hour of watering um, just to start to get the top dress to settle in. And um, for you guys who are new to it and just learning uh, for the first time, when you water in your soil, then that'll tell you a good indication of whether you've applied uh, too little. Because once that soil settles in, um, you'll be able to see all the thin spots or areas that need a bit more top dress and that. So, so um, like I was saying, it's better to just do small amounts and throwing it out on the shovel like I was showing you. Um, if you're new to this and you're a bit worried about putting too much on, um, there is sort of a, a, a rule too that you always think you've put too much on, but when you water it in, you realize no, you've actually put on the right amount because it will sink through the ground. So, um, now, now of course, if you're using just a, uh, a sand, a pure sand base to top dress, um, then yeah, that'll obviously sink down uh, more through the, through the um, top layer of grass. So you might need to put on a bit more than that. So some of the videos you've seen, some of the guys on YouTube do already, um, you might have seen like their, their grass just looks like you're at the beach. And then once they spread it and water it in, it disperses and in a couple of days you've got your grass punching through. So yeah, but, but if you are unsure whether you've put on not enough or too little, then yeah, the end stage of watering it in will definitely show you um, what you've done um, you know in the end sort of thing and if you need to apply some more so no biggie if you haven't put enough on then that's fine then just put some more on and and that and um, if you're just doing your own private residence residence then you'll find um, you know you do it once or twice and then you'll know exactly the quantity you need how much to put on how much fertilizer to throw out and all that sort of stuff it's just a learning process and you learn by doing so um, yeah, so it, it, you're taking the first step and you're getting into it yourself, which is a big thing. And uh, now that the top dress and the watering's done, now you can just sit back and, and relax and, and watch your lawn grow. Um, so yeah, anyway, guys, you're yeah, gonna wrap it up here. I hope you've learnt some uh, information and, and knowledge on how to renovate your buffalo lawn. I hope that this video has been of some help to you guys. If you have any questions that I haven't answered or, or, or gone over in the video, by all means, drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But um, I've got plenty more renovations to do and I've got a couple of garden construction jobs to do and in between that, we're doing the maintenance and whatnot. So plenty on at the moment here in Brisbane. We're approximately around 23 24 degrees hovering through the days. Bit warmer in the sun today. Um, but yeah, beautiful weather up here in Brizzy and we're loving it and it's a, a great time to get stuck into your lawn renovation. So yeah, anyway guys, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and make sure you jump on to my other videos and go check them out as well. There's a bit more other educational stuff in regards to hedging, um, and whatnot, how to mow properly, how to whip properly, all that sort of stuff. So jump in and check those videos out as well and see what you think. But anyway, hope you guys are staying well mentally and physically, and I hope you all have a great weekend, and we'll see you legends in the next one.